This video will show you how to create and execute a ZOSMF workflow to help you configure your instance of CA database management solutions for IMS for ZOS. Before you execute a workflow, it must be registered in ZOSMF. If you used a portable software instance to install your product, all workflows are already installed and registered in ZOSMF. Otherwise, to install and register the ZOSMF workflows, see the previous video, Download and Register ZOSMF Workflows for CA Database Management Solutions for IMS for ZOS. The rest of this video will demonstrate how to create and execute a workflow to reduce the manual effort in your post-install configuration tasks. Here you can see the dataset that contains the workflow members. As you can see, all workflows start with ITKWFL and are numbered 01 to 09. A brief description of each workflow can be found in the user documentation on TechDocs in the section ZOSMF Post-Install Configuration Workflows. In this video, we will focus on the workflow ITKWFL04 to create the DBA ICE user modification. This workflow applies a user modification to the IBM image copy utility that enables CA Database Analyzer to be executed as a user exit. For more information, check the topic Analyzing Database During Backup and Recovery in the user documentation on TechDocs. This workflow saves you the time and effort of modifying the image copy JCL manually. The links to the documentation can be found below this video. We will now need to log in to ZOSMF. Log in using your ZOSMF credentials. Then select Software and Software Management. Next, select Software Instances. Locate and right click on your software instance and select Perform workflows. Now right click anywhere in the open window and select Create workflow. Select the workflow that you want to create and click OK. Once the workflow is created, you can use it to configure your software instance. Here you can see the workflow steps. Most workflows, like this one, have just one step. Other workflows may have more. Before you execute the workflow, you will need to provide a valid job statement. To do that, return to the main workflow screen, open the Actions drop down menu, and select Customize Job Statement. Click OK and modify the job statement as needed. Click OK again to save the changes then click Close. Now click on the workflow name to return to the workflow steps. We can now proceed to execute the workflow. Remember if there is more than one workflow step they must be executed in the displayed sequence. Click the step that you want to execute and then select the Perform tab. Enter the required input values, then click Next. On this screen you can review your job statement, then click Next again. Finally, you can review your JCL. If everything is correct, then click Next to continue. To submit the JCL, click Finish. In the Status tab, you can now see the progress of the job. Click Refresh, and if the job has completed successfully, you will see Return Code 0. You can also review all of the job outputs. If there are any errors, fix the issues and submit the job again. Click Close to return to the workflow details. The status of the step now shows as complete. If applicable, you can now move to the next step. 
Once all steps are complete, your product instance is configured. For more information about the available workflows, use the link below to check the topic ZOSMF post-install configuration workflows in the user documentation on TechDocs.